Hi, this is Ann from Duct Tape and Denim. In today's video, we're going to be upcycling five different trays. So here's what I have. This was actually the bottom part of a box that held puzzle blocks. Well, there, there were more blocks, blocks that build castles. And this was the bottom part of the box. And I found it, the top part was cardboard and falling apart. So I just dumped them out into a, <clears throat> a Rubbermaid tote for my grandkids to play with. And I th I'm thinking about decoupaging this. And this is a cutting board, it's a pretty solid cutting board, but I'm gonna turn it into a tray, maybe do some stenciling on it. Today, we're also gonna participate in the Thrift Flip Road Trip. I have to be real careful when I say that to make sure I get all the words in there. And it's hosted by our Green Acres and Crafting Cousins. Uh, we're joining in the road trip from our She Shed in Texas. I'll leave a link to the playlist um, and the host channels down in the description. So after you watch this video, you can go watch all the others. Next, I'll be working on the cutting board that I'm gonna turn into a tray. I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna put some feet on it, but first of all, I'm gonna stencil it with a sunflower since I've got this sunflower theme going on this summer. So I'm gonna position this and tape it down and stencil it. I don't think I'm gonna put the words on it. These are not my favorite script here, but I'll, I do like the big sunflower. We'll see how it turns out. And I'm not gonna finish it until after I put the uh, sunflower on because I decided to go with a, like a food grade wax. So here we go. So I went over this twice with the white acrylic craft paint, just regular craft paint, and I used this to like dab it on, very light. So I put two light coats instead of one heavy coat so it doesn't go under. Now I thought I would show you the reveal because this is always the fun part. What do you think? This is the wax that I like to use on wooden bowls and like salad bowls and things that I get from the thrift store. You've seen me use that before. So I'm gonna try using it over this stencil on the cutting board. I can't remember if I've ever used it over a stencil before, so we'll see how it goes. Here we have the finished sunflower cutting board riser tray. <laughs> It's got a lot of names. Um, what I didn't show you on video was how I put the feet on. I decided to go with spools instead of uh, the beads or other feet that I had, other options that I had, just because I have a lot of spools. So I went through my stash and we do also sell individual spools on our website if you're ever looking for just a few for a project. I'll leave links to all of the products that I'm about to show you too down below. So I just made sure I took the labels off or picked some that didn't have labels and made sure they were all the same height. Um, I think I told you that I waxed the top. I did not wax the bottom until I glued these on because sometimes the wax prevents the glue from sticking. So what I, I took these, glued them on with some wood glue, left them overnight, and then I came back the next day and I waxed the rest of the bottom and the spool. So it kind of all blended in. This is the wax that I use, Daddy Vans. It This is unscented beeswax, but it comes in, I think, lavender and orange and maybe another scent, so. I'm gonna start with this wooden box because I think this is probably going to be one of the easier ones and I just realized as I was getting it out and cleaning it up that the sides are already painted yellow so I think that's going to go great with the sunflowers that I was going to use and I have some yellow paint so what I'm going to try to do is to paint this yellow and then maybe it's not an exact but it's pretty close I think if I paint it yellow and then maybe come over with some thinned out um, antiquing wax or a glaze or something. I think it's gonna be pretty close, so let's see. This is 
with one coat of the pineapple craft paint and I tested it out. Here's the paper I'm going to use with this. I just feel like I want it a little oranger, orangey, a little more orangey. <laughs> I'm not sure how to say that, but to, to go with these instead of being so yellow, I think that's a little bit too yellow. So I'm going to try mixing up a color, maybe mixing these two colors or maybe, I don't know. We'll see what all I mix it together. Cause I have a lot of oranges over there to see if we can find a color that kind of matches some of this. And then we'll come back in with the, uh, um, uh, antiquing wax. Oops. so far I'm not really liking this too much it's just too straight up two different colors it needs more subtleness about it so I'm gonna test this out to see if I should use the antiquing wax or a glaze and this is the antiquing wax about half wax and half water Here's the difference between the antiquing wax. This was half antiquing wax and half water. I brushed it on, wiped it off. I forgot that I had some of this leftover Dixie Bell Van Dyke Brown Glaze. I used that on this side and I think I like that better. It seems a little darker. It went down in the cracks better. I like that weathered look on the edge and I think that's gonna look really good. See, I like that better. So, we're gonna keep going all the way around with that then. I don't know if you've seen my other video that I did about sunflowers, but sunflowers are my favorite flower. And I found this decoupage paper on Zazzle that I wanted to try and uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can find it. And it just fit almost perfectly in here. I'm just gonna have to trim it a little bit. And I did that, I'm gonna do that by laying it down in the bottom and then pushing it up with my fingernail right into the corner and get like a little fold, a little crease right in there. And I'll come back, pull it out and cut it. I'll be using a decoupage medium called Deco Page by Deco Art. Um, it's matte. It's still a little shine to it, but it's not as shiny as regular. So I'm going to start at the top and just very, very light coat, not too thick at all. And I've got my brush ooh, <laughs> with the softest bristles. I wish it was a little bit bigger, but this is what I've got.
I know I, I told you at the beginning that there were five trays, but then this video is only going to show you two because as I was editing, it kept getting longer and longer and I didn't really want it to be a 45 minute long video for <laughs> for five trays. So you're going to see two this week and then I'll show you that next three next week. But this is my favorite out of all five of them. I have thought about putting feet on this one, but then I decided because it's so pretty, the person that buys it might want to use it as art and might want to hang it on the wall. So I'm just going to sell it like this. Here are the two together. Which one do you like better? Let me know in the comments. Do you like the decoupage sunflower or the stencil sunflower? Both of them, I think, are a success, but this one is my favorite. Um, thanks for joining our Thrift Flip Road Trip. This was my first one to join, so I hope there will be more. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite, and I will share the next three with you next week. And I'll leave links after you get through watching this one. Go watch the next video in the Thrift Flip Road Trip, and we will see you next week. Bye.